Albert Einstein once said that Dostoevsky taught him more than any scientist. My opinion is besides that this Russian novelist is super inspiring for unraveling the darker sides of humans and their behavior. And even before Sigmund Freud, the psychoanalyst, entered the stage. I have learned more from this writer than from any academic course on psychology. On humans, their paradoxical lives, their torments, their psychic mechanisms and so on. Furthermore, he gives us through his novels a deep dive into the mind of a criminal, the ponderings, his doubts, the inner thoughts. What can we learn from him exactly? In this video I will share 8 important lessons from Dostoevsky's life and work. Let's get started. Lesson 1. Know yourself, self-knowledge. Quote, humans are a mystery. I am studying this mystery because I want to understand what it means to be human. Dostoevsky's famous character Raskolnikov in Crime and Punishment is full of contradictions. He first wants to escape poverty, then dreams of great things like Napoleon did. But his true reasons are unclear. He is swinging between wanting to be special and going mad. After committing murder, he struggles with whether to confess or not. Understanding himself better might have stopped him from doing something terrible. In our busy world nowadays, it's hard to really understand ourselves, like a fish lost in a group. Reflecting on ourselves can stop us from hurting others or ourselves. If Raskolnikov really knew himself, he might have asked for help sooner. Fyodor Dostoevsky he lived from 1821 till 1881. He was pretty well aware that he had unclear and sometimes contradictory motives. And this self-knowledge, this is relatable to what he went through in an early stage of his rich life. He faced a death sentence in 1849 due to his involvement with a group known as the Pretashevsky Circle. This group, consisting of intellectuals, discussed anti-government and socialist ideas. Dostoevsky's association with these radical thinkers led to his arrest and subsequent death sentence. However, this sentence was commuted at the last moment to penal servitude in Siberia. In Siberia, Dostoevsky was subjected to four years of hard labor, followed by compulsory military service. And this harsh experience profoundly affected him both physically and mentally. The forced labor was punishing and dehumanizing, while the military service, although less brutal, required strict discipline and obedience, contrasting sharply with his previous life as an intellectual and writer. These experiences deeply influenced him, contributing to his exploration of human suffering, redemption and the nature of evil. Personally, this first lesson is a hard truth. Only by being confronted with challenges, hard circumstances and severe incidents, you will be forced to have any reflection and hence to know yourself better, and experiencing how you react unconsciously and how you deal instantly with a brutal attack or verbal aggressive person, makes you eventually a stronger person, makes you being aware of your true self. Although it is according to Sigmund Freud, impossible to know the exact deep motives in detail. Lesson 2. Be careful with big dreams. The dangers of seeking success. Quote, the world says, meet your needs. You have as much right as the rich and powerful. Don't be afraid to want more. Today, this belief is seen as freedom, but for the rich it leads to loneliness and sadness, for the poor to jealousy and violence. In our society, people judge you by how much money, fame and power you have. The pressure to get these things is huge, just like it was in Russia in the 18th century. Trying too hard for these goals can be risky, as we try to make a world where we are comfortable. Dreams are important. But they can turn bad, like Dostoevsky shows with Raskolnikov, who thought anything was possible. Success doesn't always make you happy and can lead eventually to more problems. From my own experience, 
this lesson is super valuable. In my past, the persons who didn't conform to social norms of prestige and trying to level up with their money were the greatest. Friends of mine who lost their self-confidence by not choosing for an inner motivation and eventually not reaching those financial goals. They were clinging to shallow appearance of, for example, fitness and beautiful clothing, trying to compete all the time and having fear of missing out. This is leading mostly to a personal disaster, leading to an existential crisis and loss of everything. Lesson 3. Suffering is a main part of life. Quote, smart and sensitive people always face pain and suffering. Dostoevsky, his life himself is full of suffering, such as his own near-death experience, hard years of labor in Siberia and later problems with gambling. This gambling problem started after he published The Genius Crime and Punishment in 1866. Also, he had severe health issues. He battled epilepsy his whole life till he published his last famous book, Brothers Karamazov, in 1879. And this gambling issue and his epilepsy and his near-death experience taught him a lot about suffering. In Notes from the Underground, a beautiful novel, he talks about how being unhappy comes from thinking we deserve better. Our dreams hitting a reality can make us angry and revengeful. Trying to avoid suffering often brings more pain. The mixture of love and hate, happiness and sadness shows how suffering is needed to appreciate happiness. People can get used to anything, but we often forget this basic truth. This lesson is complementary to lesson one. And nowadays these lessons seem to be forgotten. Our society tends to eliminate all kinds of risk and possible pain. Whereas we can profit from this pain. We have to profit from this pain. Moreover, risk reduction makes human weaker and thereby increases the risk. We must not only accept pain as a part of lies. We must cherish it. Lesson 4. Thinking too much isn't always good. The limits of being rational. Quote, remember, human actions are usually more complicated than the reasons we give later on. The scientific movements a couple of centuries ago made rational thinking the main way to solve problems. Enlightenment thinkers like Kant, Voltaire and Rousseau, they thought rationality could replace your religion and solve all issues. But... Dostoevsky, he saw that people often act irrationally, making reason not only and not enough to solve everything. Today's anxiety is partly because we are expected to always be rational, like Kafka pointed out in his books. Emotions play a big role in our happiness and don't always follow logic. Big life choices, even when they seem logical, are often driven by emotions. Mostly driven by emotions. Dostoevsky was one of the first to question the modern world, driven by rationality. He said that reason alone can't give life meaning, which Nietzsche, the German philosopher, known for his criticism of rationality, he agreed with this. Despite advances in technology and science making life pretty easier, the idea that happiness can be created through logic is wrong, utterly wrong. Dostoevsky reminds us that life is about discovering, not just the discoveries themselves. Happiness should naturally come from what we do, not be the main goal. Dostoevsky, as famous as Russian writers like Tolstoy and Chekhov, really stood out with his book Notes from the Underground. This book was a game changer, inspiring big thinkers like Nietzsche, Kafka and Camus. Unlike other writers, Dostoevsky didn't just focus on logic and reason. He dived deep into the irrational side of people. Our real desires and emotional messes. Our torments. This was new and exciting. Moving away from just rational thinking to exploring the craziness of human nature. The craziness of our human and mental sides. 
Nowadays, this lesson seems to be forgotten. Also, we are inclined to solve everything, every issue with our rational powers and the belief in progress with technology. But we humans are mainly emotional and instinctive and intuit intuitional. We must have focus on these as well in order to achieve greatness in our lives. Lesson 5. It's good to be simple. Thinking too much can be hard. The smartest person, in my opinion, is someone who thinks they're foolish at least once a month. End of quote. Dostoevsky thought being too aware was a problem, making us constantly question why we exist and what our purpose is. Without clear answers, smart people often get anxious and feel depressed. The more you know, the sadder you can be. In The Idiot, his main character, who seems, seems simple, actually represents innocence. Dostoevsky suggests that thinking too much, like Socrates said, can be too much and lead to madness. It's important to live life, not just think about what it means or worry about what others think. Now, a point about his view on religion. This relates to the current and the previous lesson. He had mixed feelings, questioning both modern ideas and traditional religion. His doubts about the Enlightenment and whether science could provide answers to life's big questions made him see value in religion as emotional support, despite its limits. Balancing modern and traditional beliefs, Dostoevsky's main message was about being kind, honest and self-aware. Lesson 6. There is good and bad in everyone. It's hard to be clear about morals. Quote, it's easier to blame the bad person than to understand them. Dostoevsky, he didn't agree with the simple view of people being just good or bad. He believed everyone has both sides. Raskolnikov, despite doing something terrible, is deep down good. And Sonia, seem as bad by society, is actually kind-hearted. We feel for Raskolnikov because we see parts of ourselves in his dreams, his fears and his struggles. People are complicated and can't just be labeled good or bad. Dostoevsky's stories show this. No matter how good we think we are, we all have our flaws. His life, from being radical after early success to struggling with gambling later on, shows this mix in people. I recognize this lesson each day. People say, he's a good man, she is a devil in disguise, he's a mean dictator. Meaning that we want only stick to one dimensional categories. We think binary all the time and this is out of a need for order. But we must realize even drifts and longings and desires, they are changeable and not permanent. So too are our morals. They can fluctuate and be in progress. Lesson 7. Taking responsibility is key, making life meaningful. Quote, to get respect from others, you need to respect yourself. That's the way to make others respect you. Big thinkers like Nietzsche and Camus liked Dostoevsky for his emphasis on taking personal action and responsibility. He criticized smart people like Raskolnikov who justified their wrong actions without taking blame. Knowing and accepting what you do is crucial for finding meaning in life. Dostoevsky urges us to find our own way among various ideas and beliefs. Today, we often blame others for our problems, but we must be starting with ourselves. Clean your own kitchen first. Thus, Dostoevsky's message is clear. Overcoming your own challenges is key to changing the world. Well, this lesson is my personal favorite. Its origins lie in the Stoic mindset. In the last century, the existentialists like Sartre and Camus, they said something similar. No matter how severe the circumstances, only blame yourself, for you always have a choice. Although this is my favorite, 
it is also controversial for in our era our zeitgeist the world is pretty complex and fast-paced for example economic situations can hijack my thinking abilities and attitudes so we always have a choice but with these hindering circumstances lesson eight the last lesson seeing beauty in others appreciating hidden virtues quote judge people not by where they are now by but by what they are trying to be Dostoevsky learned a lot about people when he was in labor camps before that he supported the poor without really understanding them in Siberia he saw the importance of religion for the poor and uneducated and found beauty in the honesty and acceptance of guilt this contrasted with the superficiality he saw in intellectuals he learned to see beyond someone's social status and appreciate their true value and their dreams a short summary after these eight lessons Fyodor Dostoevsky seen as a great writer filled his work with deep thoughts about psychology and philosophy his exploration of self-awareness society and ideals offer us lessons and warnings that are still relevant nowadays so these eight lessons must be kept in your mind take them with you and have real personal growth if you want more growth and being more able to hack your life then subscribe to this channel and have more knowledge on the underground and the underworld with a philosophical and psychological twist